Welcome to the month of March. Welcome to the very first edition in this new month. And we're excited to see the new month and hoping that we will all be partakers of all the goodies that will come with it. We are still doing an our special package of the show, Metrofile. So sit back and let's do this for about one hour. Thank you so much for joining us. I am Oge Chukwosi Oyeludi. All right, we will begin in the nation's federal capital, Abuja, where we bring you this beautiful wedding fatia and reception between Yasmin Mohammed and Baba Kam Salim. Take a look. The family of Alhaji Barude Mohammed from Kano State and Alhaji Alamin Kam Salim from Borno State recently hosted family and friends in Abuja when their children, Yasmin Mohammed and Baba Kam Salim, tied the knot in line with traditional marriage rites. This ceremony, called the Wushe Wushe, is one of the colorful traditional marriage rites of the Kanuri people from Nigeria's north, where the groom hails. The rites, which involve a lot of dancing, is usually done on the eve of the wedding, or fatia, to celebrate the couple and commend them for their courage shown as they embark on this lifelong journey. The mother of the groom kicks off the dance session with family and friends. And then it's the turn of the bride's mother and her own family and well wishes too. Up next, in a coordinated dance step, aunties and friends ushering the beautiful bride, Yasmin Mohammed. Yasmin is a graduate of human anatomy from the Northwest University, Kano, and is currently working as a public servant. The dancing rides continue, and this time it's to welcome the groom, Baba Kam Salem. The groom, Baba, an indigenous of Borno State, is a business information technology graduate from Inti College in Malaysia. He also obtained a bachelor's degree from Coventry University in the United Kingdom. From there, he proceeded to the University of Bedfordshire at Luton, United Kingdom, 
where he bagged a master's degree in business administration. The dancing rides did not end there. The aunties of the bride and groom now share the spotlight with them. We wish them the best of luck. We wish them God's guidance. We wish them good, happy homes. We wish them the very best in everything they will do. And we hope they will jointly become much more responsible citizens of this country. We are, we are praying that uh, everything will go well and they will have a very happy married life together. So we'll continue to pray for them. And, and, uh, Pray that they will they'll have a blissful married life together. Interestingly, the couple met through the groom's mother, Mrs. Fatima Kam Salem. I'm so happy. Um, I wish them the best. May Allah bless them with a lot of blessing, like my daughters that they are married in their houses. Um, my advice for the uh, bride and the groom, I want them to be patient, like the way I was, I am in their father's house. Mothers of the day had their time with their children on the dance floor. Now, this is the most. She's intelligent. She's um, she really likes her fam like family members. She loves her relatives. She's really caring and she likes what other people like. She cares about what other people want as well. She's not a selfish person and she's really she, she's she's absolutely beautiful, honest. I'm thankful to God for. Um, allowing me to meet a man like Baba. He's very kind, he's very thoughtful, and I'm so glad he's the one. And I have no doubt in my heart that um, we would be happy, we would have a peaceful life, and, and I can't wait to start my new life with my new family, inshallah. I spend a lot of cash, I spend a lot of cash, I spend a lot of cash.
Nigerian artist Ice Prince was on ground to further make the day extra special for the couple. The next day, family and friends again assemble at the mosque to pray for the couple. This part of the occasion is only attended by the groom, during which prayers are offered for the couple. Yasmin and Baba have indeed started a beautiful journey. And from here, we wish them marital bliss. Congratulations to them.